What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Take a look at what just came in. This right here, this huge freaking box, is supposed to be roof racks for the Cybertruck. These were sent to me by EV Base. Um, I'm one of the first people to install these. So just wanna say thank you guys over at EV Base. It means a lot to me. Um, they always support me. They always send stuff out to um, set up and review. So just really wanna say thank you guys. This is gonna be one of the big first modifications to the Cybertruck. So I am super excited. Let's go ahead and open this baby up. Now, right before we get begin, if you guys are wondering about all the colors, I know um, it looks a little weird, but I just had a ton of scraps laying around at the shop and I thought, why not put them on, make something a little fun and unique. Uh, my real color that I'm gonna be doing on the whole truck is coming in soon uh, and I'll be doing that probably next week. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, open this baby up, shall we? Alrighty guys, so I just went ahead and installed the first one just because I wanted to figure out exactly the correct way to do this uh, before I go ahead and show you guys how to do it. So let's go ahead and take a peek at what we got here. So I did the longest one, the longest one goes first, then the next uh, one which is shorter and then a little bit shorter and then a little bit shorter again. So for the first one, it's the only one with a different uh, frame it's a little bit larger so that's something to note and then one other thing that you got to do so what you guys want to do to prep these is you're going to take one doesn't matter which one just for right now we're gonna take one we're gonna unscrew this uh, this back plate here I'm gonna un take this off these are the only long super long uh, screws in here I'm gonna take that off and then we're just gonna go ahead and take that off and I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these. So this right here is a, it's like a cutout of a rubber piece. This is to protect um, the plastic trim on the car from where these will be sitting. So if this was just rubbing on that plastic trim, it would definitely do some damage. So we're gonna wanna put these on. So if you take off some of the white uh, backing paper here, it'll be sticky and then you can stick these onto uh, the back here. And it's pretty self-explanatory the way that these go on. It really only looks right one way. But if I show you guys, this is this is how it's supposed to look, the correct the correct way to put these on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this backing paper off. And then I'm going to stick this on here. There we go. All right. Push it down a little bit. And there we go. So now we're ready to go ahead and set this on the car. I'm going to finish doing all the others and then we'll start setting these up. All right, guys. So I've got all these rubber mats placed on here. I'm not going to remove this other side of the adhesive backing just because um, I want to see how it does without sticking to the truck, um, just for now, because I kind of want to, if I want to take these off, I want to be able to put them back on and stuff and just be able to completely take them off. So let's go ahead and uh, show you guys how this goes on. So I'm going to walk over to the truck over here and I'm going to open this one just like that. And all I'm going to do is set this right in there just like that and that's basically it and then what we have to do is you've got if you guys can see in here you've got two of those nuts you've got two of the studs right there so we have to grab two of these right here and you want to be extremely careful because um, I actually lost one. I dropped one and it fell under this plastic trim. Um, and you really don't want to have to take this plastic trim off to get those because there's double-sided tape on this and you really don't want to have to do that. So 
I am going to go ahead and put these on. Just really be careful when doing this. Just try to get, get it started a little bit like that. It got it started just a bit. And then I'm gonna do the same for this other one. I got it started, got both of them started, just a few threads. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my 10 mil. Pretty sure this is a 10 mil. And I am going to tighten these down. Now the first few turns feel a little like tight, like not normal. But after that, they seem to go on just fine. I think it's something to do with um, the something to do with uh, the. I think it's something to do with like the painting or the paint or the coat on the nut and the stud, and it just has to like be broken in. I'm not 100% sure, but that's just what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna just kind of hand tighten this right now. Just get it rather snug. I'm also gonna go ahead and take off of these here. Uh, these will go back on after, but I'm gonna take them off now. And then I'm basically gonna do the same repeat to the other side. All right, guys. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab our bar here. And it's gonna go in this way. So if you see here, you see where it has that kind of cut right here? You want it to go in this way, not this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this in. All right. Once that's on, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these with a washer and I'm going to line it up and then I'm just dropping it in kind of. Here we go. I'm gonna do the other side. Then I'm gonna do the other one. Then we can go ahead and put these little rubber pieces back on the top here. All right, and now we can get a side plate and two of these longer screws. And this is just gonna sit on here, like this. There we go. And then put one of our screws in there. And the other one, and we'll tighten those up. And that is basically it. And then we're just gonna do, uh, repeat the process uh, for the other ones. Those ones, obviously, those are gonna be a little bit harder to get to, um, just because it's higher up and I can't really stand. I mean, I'll be able to stand in the bed for this one, but that one I'll have to use a ladder or something. And you could also, you could assemble these on the ground if you wanted. Um, I'm realizing that now. You could definitely assemble these on the ground and then put it on the car or the truck. Um, but I think it, if you did that, it would be nice to have two people to sort of pick it up and line it up and sit it down. Uh, but since I'm alone, uh, this is kind of the best option for me. And if you guys are also alone, uh, I feel like this is probably the best method to go. Uh, one thing that I wanted to mention that I just noticed, guys, uh, for whatever reason, I don't know why, but these have a nut on them already. So you're gonna have to remove that before installing uh, the ones up here. I don't know why these have a nut, but then on the rough trim, they don't have a nut. I'm not exactly sure why. If you guys have any idea to that, let me know. But uh, let's get back to it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I am officially done installing the EV base uh, roof racks for my Cybertruck. 
Let's go ahead and take a look at how these look once I close this up. And let's go ahead and close the tonneau. Wow, look at that. That, oh, my lock sound. Look at that, that looks freaking awesome, guys. Oh my goodness, I'll have to take it out in a second and take a look at it, but this looks amazing. This is what they look like. This is how they feel, super sturdy. So you've got like a slide rail here. You've got one here as well. And there's one on the very bottom and same on the other side. That's what it's looking like. You've got these ones up here. These ones are also very sturdy. And one thing that I was curious about is on the glass here, I just wanted to, I thought I was like, I hope I don't want it to be pushing on the glass, but it looks like it's not really pushing on the glass because that was my only concern up there, but it looks like it's okay. So anyways, guys, um, I'm gonna take this baby out and we'll get some more footage of it outside. Um, but yeah, the insole was pretty simple. It took a while, but it was definitely pretty simple. That looks cool. That looks pretty freaking cool. I'm excited to go on a little drive and see if it, if I notice any noticeable road noise or anything. Um, will be super interesting to see if I do notice any noise. All right, guys. So I'm in the car on the highway. And in terms of wind noise, there's not much, there's maybe a little bit, maybe a very, very slight amount of wind noise. But it's really quite minimal. But anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Thank you again for EV Base for sending this out. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.